Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Echo Brake Controller on our 2019 Ram 1500. Now our Kurt Echo Brake Controller is going to be a proportional brake controller, so it's going to apply the brakes to our trailer in the same intensity and time that we apply the brakes on our Ram. And it's going to be a really nice package because it's going to be all self-contained right here. We're not going to have to put any holes in our dash or deal with any kind of wiring because it's simply going to plug into our seven-way. We'll plug our trailer into that, and then we're going to use our smartphone to control all of our trailer brakes. Now, since our brake controller is going to use your smartphone to operate it, we are going to be required to download an app but you can get it on both Android and Apple phones. You just wanna download the Kurt Echo Brake Controller app, install it, and then we can set everything up. What I really like about the fact that it does use your smartphone is it's gonna give us up to five profiles. Now we can use that for five different trailers, five different loads on our trailer, or we can actually just move our controller to a different truck. So you can set it up however you'd like. Now we're using ours, we just use profile one, and you can actually name them so you know which trailer or vehicle you're using. But once you pick your profile, it'll bring up this screen. This is gonna be the main activation and settings for our brake controller. The first thing I'm gonna bring up is down here at the bottom, we'll have this little switch, and it's gonna switch the background from light to dark, which is coming in handy whether it's really bright out and we need a little bit of brighter screen, or if we're driving at night, and we don't wanna be blinded, we can have it a little bit darker. Also at the bottom, we're gonna have a max output. Now this is gonna be the maximum power sent to our brakes. We're gonna be able to adjust it up and down, going all the way up to 97, or all the way down to two, and it's gonna be in increments of five. So we'll be able to fine tune how much power is going to our brakes. Then right next to that, we're gonna have the sensitivity. And that's gonna be how quickly our brakes are gonna be applied. Now typically, a heavier trailer, you're going to want to have your sensitivity higher, or if you're going on some rough terrain where there's a lot of hills. At the same time though, if you have a lighter trailer where you're on pretty flat ground, you probably want to set your sensitivity a little bit lower. But again, that's going to be a personal thing. You just kind of want to play with your sensitivity and your output to find that fine tuning you like when you're driving your trailer. Now you'll notice we're going to have a large orange or reddish style button right in the middle, and that's actually going to be your manual override. So you can just reach over push that button and you'll see the blue going around the ring. That's letting us know it's applying the brakes. When we let go, it'll release the brakes. And that's in case you get in that sway situation where your trailer starts moving and we need to apply the brakes to the trailer without hitting the brakes on our truck. And just like a traditional brake controller that has an output reading on it, our screen here is gonna give us some kind of indication when the brakes are applied. If I put my foot on the brake pedal, we can see that there's a small blue line starting to appear going around the ring, and that's letting us know that the brakes are coming on. But as soon as I let go, that blue line's gonna go away, letting us know that they're released. Now what I really like about this brake controller is the fact that it's gonna prevent us from having to put holes in our dash and mounting a traditional style brake controller. You're not gonna have to worry about hitting your knee on anything, finding a spot. Not to mention, if we wanna remove it, we can have it removed in a matter of seconds. Putting it in is just as easy. In fact, let's go ahead and walk you through how to set everything up. Now that we have our trailer hooked up, we wanna grab our Kurt Echo brake controller, come to the back of our truck, and we're just gonna simply plug it into the seven way. You do wanna make sure that it gets all the way in and that tab on the door is gonna catch the tab on the controller. Then we can just simply grab our trailer connector, the cord coming off our trailer, and plug it directly into the controller. But now that we have our app fired up on our phone and we have a solid green light on our brake controller, we know everything is connected and talking to each other. So we're ready to hit the road. But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com. That'll finish up your look at the Kurt Echo Brake Controller on our 2019 Ram 1500.